Well, I think that was an epic fail. Hi everyone, thanks for clicking onto my channel, Simply Outdoors with Shauna. Just out here today, I couldn't pass this day up. Beautiful. Finally have some snow. Um, we're gonna have snow for Christmas. I hope it stays. It's colder now, so I think the snow will stay. So yeah, we're just going out to the shelter. I want to get it ready for the winter. Now that the snow's here, I want to put the cedar branches on. So that's where we're headed today. So come along and join me. I think you'll enjoy this little adventure. guys we made it still standing which is good hanging in there no one's found the shelter yet which is awesome it's in a good spot I don't think anybody will find me out here so or wreck it on me so yeah well, I'm gonna start a fire get the snow dried up in here and then start finding some cedar branches so I'm just gonna collect some wood
it. Got the fire going. Just want to make sure the smoke is going out through the top like I wanted it to. Oh yeah, fire's in a perfect spot. Going right out through there, which is perfect. I'll leave that little, that little area right there. I'll leave open. Perfect. Why the fire's going nice there, we'll go find some cedar branches and get this enclosed. All right, let's go see. Now, I'm only going to be cutting the bottom part off of the cedar tree, so I'm not gonna hurt the cedar trees. That's a good start there. Just gonna check on the fire, make sure it's going all right.
also what I'm doing is intertwining all the branches, sticking them in the little spaces that I have the logs, just going every which way. trying to put most of the smaller ones first and then the big thicker ones on top. All right, everybody, that's one load. Didn't take me very long to get this load. So I'm just gonna stick all the branches up in that are hanging out. Now, I'm not gonna take the cedar branches close to the fire. I'll be putting more logs instead of cedar branches around where the fire is. So they'll just be back from the fire back. All right, let's go get another load. It's looking good. I'll show you the outside. Now I really like it because it camouflages the shelter really well. So I think another load like that for this side, I'm thinking about four loads, two on each side should do it. Awesome, let's get some more. Another big load. All right, so I'm just going to put uh, some water on for a tea and I'm gonna make bannock bread. So I'm gonna put that on as well. So let's go inside.
Okay, got a nice fire going here. It's warm in here. I dressed a little warm. It's only minus two today. So I can be in here without my jacket on. Beautiful. All right, just gonna move this rock over and get it warmed up to put the bannock on. really nice in here it's coming nice I can feel the warmth I'm going to put the second load on this side so I can at least get one load on each side if I don't get two loads on each side tonight all right let's put some water on for a cup of tea It's nice to be able to have somewhere to come to get out of the city. Enjoy a little quiet time, a little time in the woods. Got to leave some to make the bannock. We'll start our, our bannock. Warm up the butter a little bit. My mug. Okay, in here I have three quarters, three quarter cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, and that's all the dry ingredients. And I just put it in a bag so I can knead it in the bag so my hands don't get all yucky. So I'll, in the description below, I'll put the measurements and the ingredients for this bannock bread. I always bring an extra little bit of flour on the side just in case I add too much water. The water's almost boiled. So we have David's tea. It's called Cinnamon Robust Chai. Another one of my favorites. Like usual, have my little steeper. Take that off so it boils. Boils over. Waka, that's gonna be hot. Use two gloves. Two gloves for that. Sit that right there. Mmm, wish you guys could smell this one. Cinnamon.
mix this stuff up. So, in here is a spoon. In here is two tablespoons of butter. Put that right in the bag. I need a little bit to put on my bannock. That wood's good and dry. Crackling. And then you're going to put eight milliliters of water. Now I measured it out and it was six, six capfuls of this. So we're going to add that six capfuls there. I measured it out at home. So I'm going to add it slowly though. You're just going to add a little bit at a time. And then you're just going to knead it right in the, right in the bag. Just make it, work it all in the bag. Now I'm just going to put a little flour on my board here. Make sure it's sturdy. Nope. Then I'm just going to turn the bag inside out and bring the bannock out. Because now you got to knead it a little bit. You're still eventually going to get your hands dirty, but at least a little bit of mixture is mixed in the bag. All right. And then you're just going to roll it in the flour that you have. Just until it's a nice texture. You don't want it too sticky. Just able to play with it without it sticking to your hands. And sometimes you can put oil on your hands. Or have some leftover water just to put on your hands. helps helps make it not as sticky there we go what you're going to do is i'm going to sit the rock up on a little slant like that bring the coals in I got some oil that I'll just put on my hands so the bannock doesn't stick now that I'm all cleaned up. There we go. There we go. And then you just want to flatten it out. Make it thin enough so it will cook good. Flatten it out more when you have it on the rock. So then you'll just flip it as you go.
forgot my tongs today, so I <laughs> think I use a stick. little dark there so want to get the branches on this side Alright everyone, it's coming along pretty good. I'm going to finish this side off, but first I'll go check on the bannock and see if it's done. It's getting a little dark so you can't see much. The bannock's coming along nice. Probably another 10 minutes and it should be done. The bannock's taking a little longer on the rock. So I'm going to put it right on the coals and give it a good cook. Nice coals there. Well, I think that was an epic fail. Our bannock. <laughs> we'll try that next time. I'll perfect bannock sooner or later. Well, everyone, thanks for coming along with me on this little adventure. We got most of the shelter closed in with uh, cedar branches. That's what I really wanted to do before a lot of snow came. So, well, next time, we'll have to try bannock again. This time I'm gonna bring a cast iron frying pan and we'll try it out with that. And then once I perfect it, then maybe we can do it on a rock. Well, that didn't work out very well. So thanks for coming along with me though. It was fun anyways. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one, everyone. At least my tea turned out pretty good. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>